let's make this first of all we'll start with making our project In this, first of all, we will create a world. <coughs> you can directly skip to the touch button, touch screen buttons part. I will just link in the description the timestamps. For, for now, we will just grind with basics. Once the world and the platform is set up, we'll try running this. So, main scene. Okay, works fine. Now let's make a player. Layer will be the kinematic body 2D. Name it layer. It will have a sprite as usual. We'll name it sprite for some reasons. I'll let you know soon. Now we adjust the position. Then we will give it a collision shape. So just the collision shape. Since size is in the world, you can see the player. I think now set up. Let's run the script. It won't move. We will need a script for that. So let's go to switch to player tab. And new script. Create. I have already prepared a script for this and this import from my own project. I'll go through this once we do this. I think we need to change the UI. Let's run this script. This is this, this UI jump we won't find in, so we'll need to get in the input now. In action, so we'll add a new action UI jump. Once the UI jump is ready, we'll add some keys to it. For example, the up key. Mm -hmm. Space bar. Okay. Let's see it done. Close. Now let's run. For now, our player can happily move with arrows and space. I'll just go through the step once. So these are basically some constants, the gravity constant, floor normal, slide stop, all the necessary ones, and this sprite will be for 
prefixes. This linear velocity will be used. The sprite should be same as this sprite. Then I'll go through this entire in some different tutor tutorial. For now, we'll just have it as it is. the crucial part now we will add now we will add the touch screen buttons to the main so for this we will take a player we will add a child node our touch button touch screen buttons will be on the canvas layer because we don't want the the buttons to move from the screen. We will name it UI and we will add our touch screen button. So we need some sprites for that. We we'll put in the normal texture. We can put the left. Then for the right. This is the visibility mode. When we switch to touch screen only, and we need these are the two important properties: action and the visibility mode. See now the because of visibility mode, this will be only screen on touch touch screen devices. You are in the action, and now we switch to all these. Project settings. Emulate touch with this point. You now, when we touch, touch, press the button. Let's do it, do this for other buttons also. See this action. This is the important one. Important property. Its name should be similar like the one we named the script. Input dot is action press UI jump UI jump. It is the same we added in the input now. Now let's add the action for left and for the right UI right. Now let's run the entire again. See now. You can see this. Jump. <coughs> Once we are done, we'll export this projector. For now, I'll just export with Android. It won't matter this, this will be just the name for our 
further tutorial purpose. So once the project is exported, so this is the mobile. I did a screen record from my mobile, and you can see this works on mobile too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.